Hi and welcome to our new video where we want to share some top tips to keep you productive and organised within Microsoft Teams. We have 8 tricks to go through so let's start with our first tip of the day, turning a file into a tab. Now this trick is super helpful as files can often get lost in busy channels and by making an important file into a tab it makes it a lot easier for you and your team to find. So we're going to go into the channel that we want and then we're going to go into the files tab at the top here. So we're going to go down to the file that we want and you should see three dots on the side there. We're just going to go ahead and click on that and as we scroll down we can see make this a tab. All we're going to do now is click on make this a tab and as we go back on the channel you can clearly see that the file is now a tab which makes it easy for everyone to click on. Our second tip of the day is how to filter your files. This can be super helpful in conjunction with the first tip as we can filter our files to find the important one that we want. What we want to do is head down on the left hand taskbar and just go ahead and click onto the files tab. Now it will automatically come up with the most recent files that we have been working on um, and we can organise these through type of file, whether that's Word, Excel, PowerPoint, the name of the file or when it was last modified you can also change the location to filter these as well so this makes it super easy to find the file that you're looking for you can see that this is the same in microsoft teams but you have an extra tab there that says modified by so you can filter it by who's modified it last we also have our download section there so any files that we've downloaded and our cloud storage so obviously we've got OneDrive on here so your, any files that you've been working on personally will all come up on there um, you can change the format of this into a compact list or tiles whichever makes it easier for you to find your files so you have plenty of options there we also have this little button down here saying add cloud storage so you can actually integrate other cloud storage platforms like Dropbox or Google Drive. This just allows you to have all your files in the same place. Our third tip, I wanted to show you one of Teams newer features where you can present your physical whiteboard in a meeting through content from camera. So we wanna go ahead and join a meeting to start off. So like you would when you're sharing any content, we're gonna to go to the share content section at the top there and we're just gonna scroll down until we can find content from camera. So here we're going to go ahead and click and we have three options. So through our camera, we can either share a whiteboard, a document or a video. We're just going to show you the whiteboard today. Um, so we're going to go ahead and click on this, which is now going to come up with a preview screen. So we have, it's telling us to point our camera at a nearby whiteboard to detect it. So the camera is now going to switch on and we're going to align our camera up towards where our whiteboard is. So you can see the green box there is outlining the whiteboard and once it has discovered it you'll see that it zooms in and we can now share this with our attendees, it is no longer going to be a preview. So once we have put this up we can now edit and add any content that we want onto the whiteboard. This being the same as you would in a normal in-person meeting on a physical whiteboard but this just makes it a bit more interactive during the modern way of working where many teams are remote working so getting together for meetings is a bit more difficult. So this just makes it that little bit more personal. You can also take a snapshot down there at the bottom of the work that you've done and there's also a settings button where it goes back into preview and you can change the content type, the camera and if you need to redetect anything as well. So on to our fourth tip, we're going to look at creating chats and pinning them. Now this might seem like a basic tip, but pinning conversations can really help in terms of organisation as you can keep the more important conversations up in the pin section so that you don't spend time searching for recent chats. If we go ahead and click on the new chat icon, we just want to add on our recipients and then click this arrow on the side here to create a group name. Once we've created a group name, and wrote our first message we can then see the chat come up in recent chat section by clicking the three dots we can then click on the pin icon where the chat will now be easily accessible right at the top in the pin section of the chat so it's literally as easy as that our fifth tip is how to post an announcement or a message to multiple channels. Now if you don't know how to do this, this can save a lot of copy and pasting time. So we're going to go into one of our channels and start a new conversation 
where we can either choose to create a message or an announcement. We're just going to do an announcement in this demonstration. So once we've written out our announcement, we're going to go ahead and click on the icon that says post into multiple channels, where we can then choose with which channels are relevant for the announcement that we're making. So obviously we're just going through the tick boxes and we're going to click on update once we finish this. So now we can press send once we're happy with this and we can see that this has been posted into our general chat and then if we go ahead and look in our different channels you can see the ones that it has been posted to which saves you a bit of time and makes you a little bit more productive our sixth tip is how to create a planner within a channel we're going to go into the channel that we want and we're going to go into the tabs where we can find task planner where we can either create a new plan or go from an existing plan for the team so we're going to go ahead and create a new one and then here we can begin creating buckets and assigning tasks and time frames for some of the team now this is really helpful because that means all your team in this channel know exactly what they're doing and when it needs to be done by so they can stay organized and productive by creating these tasks it will notify the required team members and as well anyone that is in this channel will also get a notification that this new tab has been created this new planner has been created in the actual channel itself so it will come up with a notification as you'll be able to see now our seventh tip, we're going to show you how to send an email from Outlook straight to a channel in Teams. So we're going to first go ahead and begin the email and then once we have done this, we're going to need to get our recipients. So when we go into our Teams and the channels, we want to send it to the general channel of our staff team. So we need to click on the three dots where we can retrieve an email address specific to the group and then all we need to do now is copy this address and put it in our recipient box in Outlook. Once this is done we just click send and you can see now it will come up within the chat tab in our channel. Last but not least we want to show you how to filter through your activity feed on Teams. Once we go into our activity feed located on the left hand taskbar of your Teams we can choose whether we want to filter activity from everyone or just our own activity so there's the filter button there on the right and then from there you can type in keywords or click on the three buttons and filter it down with different options listed there for example unread messages or if someone has replied or reacted or mentioned you this feature contributes to productivity as it helps you filter through to what's important to you especially with everyone working from home and everyone working remotely teams can get quite hectic with messages meetings and activities so being able to quickly filter any unread messages or any mentions this can help really save some time so those were our top tips for teams today thanks so much for watching and i hope you found this helpful be sure to subscribe for more tips and tricks